Hello everyone, my name is JC, and welcome back to, well actually not even welcome back to, welcome to a new thing we like to call the Formula Nitro Show. I am your host, JC, and alongside me, I have Hurricane here for uh, today's broadcast. So, uh, Hurricane, how are you doing uh, today? I'm doing pretty good, JC, how about yourself? I'm doing, I'm doing pretty good, you know, I had a long day, but we're here for this, uh, you know, this broadcast, so I'm, I'm feeling great, honestly, I'm doing really good, considering we're back here for Formula Nitro and stuff like that, so it's gonna be fun, but, um, we're probably gonna be doing this more often, because it's pretty fun, so, uh, yeah, so, Hurricane, I mean, we had a crazy weekend in Jamaica, I mean, we, we're gonna talk about everything, we're gonna talk about, you know, what our predictions are for the championship, who we think is going to win the tr Constructors' Championship in each, you know, division, uh, Formula 1, Formula 2, Formula 3, like that, and actually a possibility of a new series, Formula 4 as well, or Formula E, something around those lines might be coming. Um, there's just so much stuff we're going to be talking about. So we're also going to be having some uh, driver interviews as well, so it's going to be really fun. But, uh, Hurricane, um, you know, let's talk about this. Um, you know, we had a crazy weekend. We had Formula 3, Formula 2, and Formula 1. Out of all those races, which one was your favorite? I mean, F3. I mean, come on. That always puts on a fantastic show. F3 has shown some, you know, it's new drivers. So, of course, they're going to be more aggressive and want more, be a little more hungry and trying to show that they deserve an opportunity because they're at the bottom of all the F series. Um, so they want to show that they can climb up and want to show these team owners that they have something. They're not just newbies at racing, that they have what it takes to win. Yeah, honestly, I think that's another reason why, you know, you have such good racing is just people will go out there and just make the most out of what they have. And they will go out there and will be so freaking aggressive to the point where they will literally put someone into the wall. And we saw that in Formula 3. So it was a great one, a great finish. Beast Mode getting the win, not the normal usual thing you'd usually say, but... Fiji Water Racing finally ending their streak of bad luck. Hopefully, I don't jinx them again. Um, even though I'm the owner of Fiji Water Racing, it is kind of sad considering Rio has absolutely just dominated. I mean, that, well, it used to be called Maserati. Now it's called, well, it used to be called Velase last week. And now it's called Ratio Racing. So great job, Jacob, on the team names. We absolutely love it. Um, but yeah, that uh, ratio racing machine is just incredible. That car is just zooming with Rio in it. So, I mean, it's what do you expect? It's Rio. Rio literally is known to be one of the best drivers in in just overall Fortnite. She's so good at ATKs, quad crashers, whip flashes, prevalence, you name it. She is so good at them, and she will prove every single driver out there that she is the best. And and we saw that in the first three races. We saw it kind of in this race. I mean, we saw that, you know, I think she finished second or third. Well, where did she finish? Second or third? I think it was second, right? Yeah, it was second because it was right yes. behind. Um, it was right behind Beast Mode. Yeah, it was second. So, uh, yeah, just like that. I mean, it, it's kind of crazy to say the least because you look at this. Rio, is, we're so used to seeing her win a race, and she finally, finally doesn't win. So, what could this mean for, you know, the other drivers? Are they just going to have to, you know, make the most out of that? Or are they just going to go and pray she has another bad race? Because right now she has a 38-point lead in the standings. Um, Honestly, I think it's... I think the drivers are showing, hey, you're not the only one out here. We're here to win, too. You're not the only one. We're trying to show that we belong and uh, that, you know, to team owners that we can, we can win, Um, honestly, so... Drivers just need to win, you know, push to win if they even want a shot at that championship. Rio's two wins away from the title. That's going to be hard to beat, especially with Rio. If she doesn't win, it's probably going to be either second or third, so it's going to be super hard to beat her, and they just have to win. I mean, there's not too many races left that they have a shot to get her. I mean, like I said, I'll say it again. Only two races away from winning, and overall, in the overall season, there's not many races left, so drivers, if they want to show what they have, they have to start doing it now, and that means... More aggress they're going to be more aggressive. They're going to make more aggressive moves, which could result in a crash, and Rio could be getting in that crash. It's just, well, really, if they want to even have a little bit of a shot at this championship, they have to win, but that's not going to e be easy, and they know that. So, like I said, I'll say it again. They're going to be more aggressive, and that's going to cause crashes. So it's going to be very interesting to see how this season goes on with how aggressive people are going to start getting. And plus, we all know new drivers are more aggressive than more experienced drivers, so... It's, it's going to be a big battle. 
Yeah, it's going to be really interesting to say the least when it comes down to the end of the season. And honestly, what a first season it has been. Um, I just want to thank everyone once again, you know, to everyone in the league. We're, I think, around 125 members, if I'm not mistaken. Let me check. Hold up. We're just going to check real quick. 122 members. Okay, I was three off. That's not that bad. Um, 122 members in the server. I would never have thought that we would have this many um, already. It's incredible. So thank you guys so much for uh, the success in this league. I absolutely love putting on races and hosting them and stuff like that. Huge shout out to all the you know the different map builders and stuff like that, like Swayze's, obviously. Um, you know, of course, you have Johnny, Vexo, stuff like that. Obviously, they're suspended and stuff, but... Um, you know, thank you for them, you know, for helping me. Every single person really has just made a contribution in this league and really has motivated me to keep this thing going. So I really do appreciate it. Y'all are the best. Um, but, yeah, let's let's look at the points right now. Um, you know, honestly, it is a 38-point lead f for Rhea. I mean, in F3, she has just dominated. I don't think a single person is going to stop her. And I'm going to tell you right now, she's winning – the, she's winning the driver championship. There's no one stopping her. I'm sorry, Static Volcano, but you are going to need a little bit more praying t to hope that Rio makes a mistake because she's not going to make a mistake. I mean, we saw her make a mistake once. I think that was at Australia, and she still won that race. So just like that, you just need to just be on your A game against Rio. So... Um, but yeah, here are your driver standings in Formula 3 after the Jamaican Grand Prix. Rio's in first with 96 points. Static with 58 points. That is that is the the difference in points right now. That is ridiculous. A 96, 96 points for Rio to 58 points for Static. That is ridiculous. And um, we cannot believe that. And then you have, uh, of course, Ozos in 50, you know, 54 points. Beast Mode with 53. It's kind of a battle there. For second, third, and fourth. So that is going to get really interesting. Of course, Ney is there. Then it's Fishna, Type Z, Rain, Patrono, Rai, Bass Boy, Vegas, Plush, Phase, and of course, Genius Nature. So yeah, that is, you know, those are your standings at the moment. Um, now, you are the owner of Ford Performance. Um, what are your honest thoughts on, you know, your driver static? He has run really well, he's had podiums in the last three races so really good for him he's ran really well um do you think he can catch up with rio or do you think it's too late i mean he's obviously um you know i've never seen a driver improve in such a little time as he has and you know it's gonna be tough he's third he's second in his first ever time really racing in Fortnite, which is incredible but it's gonna be tough because we know how consistent rio is static's been you know a real, really consistent as of recent, and you know, you know, it started off a little rough. I mean, well, not rough. He got a podium in his first race, but yeah. next next race was kind of rough. But then he came back, so I think he's really surprised. I think people thought he would just be another driver, another new driver in Fortnite who would really never learn how to do it. And you know, he's done an incredible job, a job adapting and learning and soaking in information. You know, I think that's been one of the biggest things that other people aren't doing, and. He's paid attention to lines people run, and I think that's why he's seen so much success so early in his career. Just kind of like he's kind of like Rio; he's learned a lot in a short amount of time. Yeah, I think honestly that we can all agree that uh, Rio is the Lewis Hamilton, um, obviously the girl version of Lewis Hamilton in this in Formula Three. I mean, she has just dominated. I don't think a single person is going to stop her. No offense to you, Static Volcano, who we're actually going to have in a sec um, here on the show. So uh, that's going to be fun. Uh, huge shout out for him, you know, tuning in to this uh, the show. Obviously, a ton of people are as well. So it's great to have everyone here uh, for the show. So we're going to continue. But uh, let's invite Static here. Let's talk with him and let's discuss, uh, you know, his season and stuff like that so uh, welcome static to the show no uh it's great to have you here today uh here on the uh, formula nitro show so um how are you feeling with you know three podiums in a row you've done really well you've been really consistent you've been in the top three top five most of the races um what is your strategy coming up for this next grand prix really i think i would probably say not to like probably try to mess up the leader too much which just in case any of them try to make a mistake so you can i see a gap and i could try to go for it so um and if hold up sorry i'm sorry i thought you were done talking i'm yeah. so sorry continue, continue. Yeah. i'm so sorry my bad yeah and if and if like any and if like anyone pits in front of us i can try to follow them the men 
and and then and we'll see how and then we can see how that can go. So um, you know, obviously Hurricane is your team owner. I mean, he's here, obviously. So um, yeah, best team is, owner ever. Yeah, yes. So yeah, what you. is what is the difference between him and all the other team owners out there? I mean, you look at this guy; he has done a lot for you. Helps in mid races. I mean, that's not what a lot of other team owners, him, <laughs> me, and um, some other people do. I mean, they don't go out there and say, "Hey, you're running the wrong line. What line? You know, you should be running and stuff like that." He lets you know and that stuff. What does it mean to have a guy like that who can help you at all times when you are racing? I think he could probably help. I think he can help me with with my with the possible future for the next season. It's so not Formula Nitro in F three, and um, it could also probably get us into a really good at speed, speed, and really that's, that's what we are. We are. Um, well, yeah. Well, um, so Static, um, you know, honestly, you've, you've ran really well this season, and um, what is your goals for this season? I mean, do you want to just finish top two? Is that, is that what you want to do? You just want to keep that top two place? I mean, do you think you can possibly catch up to Rio? I mean, is that even possible, do you think? Because she needs two Probably wins depend. to clinch the title. But it depends if I either not die, I'd probably... They would have a trouble going to be racing, and probably if I don't die, as a Bashan at the castle section. <laughs> Get old back you. Huh? I feel like I'm probably going to die there. Definitely. It'll be fun, honestly, though, because we're going to see a lot of good racing uh, this weekend, so it'll be fun. But uh, we can't wait for that, so that'd be great. But, um, Static, um, is there anything else you would like to say here uh, before you, uh, you know, you go back down to the audience? Um, I would probably like to say it to real that she's been doing a really good job and hope and if she wins the title she deserves it well thank you static we appreciate you brother um best of luck to you for the rest of the season man we hope you do well thank you maybe you might catch up to rio it really depends it's gonna come down to the wire because if she wins two more races ladies and gentlemen she is the champion in formula nitro so um, in, in Formula Three, sorry. So, uh, yeah, she'll well, be we got we got probably us. because everyone else right now is tied for it. So, really interesting, to say the least. Yeah. So, will she win this we'll weekend? We're gonna find challenges. out. Tune in this weekend; it'll be great. Uh, but thank you, Static. Uh, we'll see you uh, on the track. Anyways, um, we're gonna move on uh, from you know Static and all that stuff. But uh, you know, honestly. We look at this, and I think another team we really are just, you know, not looking at it at all. We thought they would do a lot better. It's Fiji Auto Racing. I mean, this team has been really, honestly, disappointing. I mean, can we agree on that? Because they have Beast Mode, who has had some really laggy, horrible issues during his races. Um, so, you know, for him to go and lag that whole race or whatever, or at the end, right when he's about to win, and then go and finish first in the next race after both of those races being absolute lag fest for him, that's a great thing for him. But do you think Fiji Water Racing can somehow catch up to Ford Performance and, you know, take second place in the Constructors' Championship? And, I mean, keep in mind, you know, Rio doesn't have the Constructors' Championship locked because she's only one driver. So, you look at that, you're combining, you know, there's two drivers, she's only one driver, so that is what's really going to be the key, to say the least, in, in Formula uh, 3. Yeah, you know, I think the main issue for Fiji Water Racing, you know, we're all pretty much a new team in F3, I think the main issue is that they've had too many mechanical issues, you know, mostly with the engine lagging, and, you know, you kind of cutting off and on, that's what screwed Beastman at the end, the engine just pretty much completely shut off near the end, he had to bring it down, he also just got in a crash in the other races that destroyed the car, like the suspension. I think that's been one thing holding him back. Obviously, he got that win, so they saw something up for that race. But, you know, they just need to get around the mechanical issues. And if they get around that, I think they'll do great things. Yeah, I think, honestly, it's kind of sad, to say the least, because you look at it, Fiji Water Racing, they've been in the top three in most of the races, and then just at the end, they just get completely screwed over. So... Um, hopefully they, you know, turn around their season and stuff like that. Four performance, obviously, are in, are in first place at the moment. Second, of course, is, um, you know, Rio. 
in that Fiji Water Race, or not Fiji Water, sorry, I'm so sorry, um, Ratio Racing, it's just a tongue twister at this rate, I'm sorry, but, uh, yeah, um, Rio is just dominated in that Formula uh, 3, Maserati, Ratio Racing, just you name it, Velocity, I mean, they've changed their name every single week, so what do you expect, but, uh, yeah, it's been a great run for Rio, so we're gonna move on to our next thing, and that is Formula 2, so, man, Formula 2 has been a crazy thing, I mean, you look at this right now, um, the standings have changed a lot, to say the least. I mean, we can talk about this days after days after days of how crazy it has been ever since Jacob and Splat joined the party here in Formula 2. I mean, we saw Johnny, Bexo, and D-Boss being the top three in the first three races. And then Jacob and Splat joined, and that completely changed everything. So, Mercedes have been on top there um, in Formula 2. So, great to see them there, at, you know, because I'm the owner of, of Mercedes. Not, not trying to be biased or anything. But, uh, what do you think is going right for Mercedes, you know, that isn't going um, well for the other teams? Uh, Hurricane? I, the thing is just how much resources you Mercedes have. They sell so many cars a year, and, you know, they're great quality cars, and they take that great quality over to their F1 and F2 teams. And I think just how many resources they have has really just helped that team, you know, especially they make their own power units. They control everything that happens in that power unit. They don't have an outside person making it for them. They could put all the focus into that power unit, making it the best for them. So I think it's just mainly that. You know, giving them the edge of the competition, and I think they've done, ma you know, they've done major aero testing, I've heard. They've done many hours of wind tunnel testing, and that's really helped them, so I think that's why they're just doing all the right things. Well, yeah, I mean, we're going to look at the, the driver standings here at the moment. Um, after, uh, we're going to first look at the, um, and not after, I was going to say after the, the Jamaican Grand Prix, but we're actually going to look at the race before that, which was the Australian Grand Prix number two. Um, of our double header, uh, D Boss was tied with Splat and Jacob at 71 points. Now, after the Jamaican Grand Prix, D Boss did not race in that race. He is now at 71 points because he didn't get any points from that race. Jacob is in first with 96, and Splat is in second with 89. It has been a great season for Jacob and Splat in F2. I mean, you really just can't say any more than Mercedes just being dominant in Formula 2. I mean, they have just done incredible. They've been so consistent. They have just been great at driving on the circuits. Yeah, obviously, um, I don't, I mean, the equipment they've had has been good. They have a lot of good grip in those cars, but I think they've just been learning, kind of like a lot of the other people. I think learning has been a big thing for people who have success, and learning is important to you know learn from people who who have been you know racing for a while. I think that's pretty important. I think that's a reason they're running so well. And I think also another thing we got to look at is is D balls. I mean, this guy was doing so well. He was in the top three of the standings. He still is in the top three, but obviously he might lose that spot soon because. We haven't seen D-Boss race in around three, two weeks, something like that. Um, and we obviously know the reason why. I, I mean, we at least think we have a reason of why it is. I mean, he's the owner of McLaren, and we, we know this, but he used to be just the driver for McLaren, and his owner was Vexo. And Vexo, if you don't remember, if you haven't heard already, Vexo, he said a, a racial slur, a, a racist word or whatever, and basically... He got suspended and got removed from the server. And so just like that, after that, D-Boss hasn't showed up to any races. And so I guess he has probably taken the pressure from, you know, just being a normal driver to being the owner of McLaren and stuff like that to a whole another level. I mean, it's a whole different level. And you might think, okay, yeah, you're just racing, you know, in Fortnite. It's not that big of a deal. But you got to keep in mind, he has to manage Formula 1 and Formula 2 and stuff like that, and including himself and stuff like that. So that's really stressful for him, especially with all the stuff going, that is going on in his life at the moment. So um, we hope D-Boss races soon. Honestly, I would love to see him, you know, come back and compete. He's a good driver. He's done really well, actually, in Formula 2, and he's been really clean and stuff like that, so it's great to see that. But um, hopefully we see him race. But do you honestly think that uh, you know, the reason why he hasn't showing up is because Vexo is suspended and he has no team at all? And do you think maybe Beast Mode in you know that Fiji Water Racing car from Formula 3 could re replace um, Vexo for now, at least, in that McLaren car? 
Uh, pr yes, I think Beast Mode has shown a lot in uh, F3. You know, he beat Rio, obviously, which was pretty big for him, but he's shown that he can consistently be up front. Just the mechanical issues have taken him out, but we know he can race. He definitely, I think, deserves to be in that seat. Um, I don't think there's really anyone else they could really go with that are as consistent as he is. I think that's what they should do. And yes, I think, you know, the suddenness of the boss being team owner has just, you know, switched his mentality a little bit. And also not having Vexa, I think him and Vexa, you know, were pretty good friends. And then just to be, you know, for Vexa not to be racing, at least for a while now. Um, I think that's taken a little bit of a toll on him. You know, Vexa probably also, you know, gave him some confidence, you know. And, you know, gave him more of a chance to go for the Constructors' Championship, at least. And he doesn't really have a teammate to help him out, you know, during the races. So I think that's also kind of hurt him. But um, hopefully he comes back. That's um, that's what I'm really hoping for. Yeah, and I think, honestly, we all do wish d -Boss the best. We, you know, we hope he's okay and everything. I mean, obviously, we don't know if, you know. I really haven't been able to talk to d -Boss recently. He's been really busy and stuff. So it's good that he's focusing on life and stuff and school and stuff like that. So that's good, and we hope he's okay and he's doing well in life. You know, d -Boss is honestly one of the most fun guys to be around. I mean, believe it or not, some people think he's annoying. Yes, he can be annoying, but, you know, just the charisma and just the whole thing around him is just amazing. He just is a a laugh laugh track when you're around him so it's pretty funny um he's a cool dude to hang around and we hope he's in the best so yeah um yeah, and you know one thing i'll say about him is he's really improved from where he was in commander's league to this one he shows oh, that no he's not a slouch he he's not the wrecking guy he was you know maybe you know a year ago you know he's really shown that he can drive and uh, i think he's here to show that even more if he Races again, which again, I hope he does. Really miss him on the track. The McLarens are fast. They're no slouch. So, you know, hopefully, but uh, wish him the best. I'm glad he's focusing on what's most important. Yeah, I think, honestly, another thing is, um, you know, people have just not liked Fortnite racing recently. So, I mean, that's another thing. And you got to keep that in mind. It's not the same as it used to be, where, you know, ATKs were amazing, great vent racing, stuff like that. And you could have absolutely incredible races and stuff like that. And now you can't even do that at all because <laughs> Epic Games has just messed it up completely. So it sucks because you look at it and the racing is a lot different now. Um, you can't really do banking in some tracks and stuff like that um, because the cars are going to slide down. Epic said they were going to patch that stuff. Still haven't done that, but I'm just going to quit talking about that because I don't want this to turn into a rant. Um, so, yeah. Um, we actually have a, a, a driver here in formula 2 and that guy is of course uh, splat cat so splat in the mercedes in second place at the moment um you are allowed to join join us here hello splat welcome to the formula nitro show how are you doing my good friend here from uh, dawsonville i'm doing pretty well actually had a great day that is that's great to hear i'm so happy um so um how are you feeling um about being second in in the standings here, you know, the driver standings right now. You're obviously first with Jacob on that Mercedes team. How are you feeling to be in second in the driver's championship behind your teammate Jacob and being in first in the constructor standings with Mercedes? A lot of confidence. I feel like if we can get some stuff done right, then we actually have a shot at the title. It's going to be pretty hard because Jacob's a very good driver. But I think if we just don't make a lot of mistakes, we could probably maybe have a good shot at it. But it gives me a lot of confidence. Well, yeah, I mean, you have to say, I mean, you have a lot of respect for Jacob. I mean, isn't that right? I mean, your teammates with him, he's a great driver, um, and he has done a lot for Mercedes. You've done a lot as well. I mean, I think you have actually, do you have more wins than him? I, I could be wrong. Do you? Uh, no, no, he has, no, he got more, he broke the tie between us okay. with Jamaica because okay. of the penalty thing, so yeah. Okay. He has two and I have one. Okay, that, that makes sense. All right, well, I mean, still, I mean, y'all are both just battling for it, and we'd love to see a, a good old-fashioned battle between some teammates. So it's great to see that. And honestly, um, you know, me as the Mercedes owner, I'm not going to favor on any of y'all. So just letting y'all know that. But uh, that's going to be fun to watch. Right. So uh, what are your honest goals for this season? I mean, obviously, you guys want to win the Constructors' Championship. I mean, would you be mad if you got second place? Do you think you, you could be able to get first? No. Is it going to be difficult, or how do you feel? That's kind of like, the championship is an afterthought, because, like, I don't know. My on, my actual honest goal would be just to get a multi-win season, just have two wins, honestly. I think I'd be content with that, just getting another win than actually winning the championship. 
second is perfectly fine for me. And honestly, I think that's a that's a good way to look at it because you're you're not being a cocky teammate. You're not you know being upset about how your teammate is in first or whatever. Obviously, you want to win, but um, at the same time, you are being respectful and understanding that your teammate also is probably no offense to you, the better driver. I think you can admit that he's better. Yes, no, he's he's better. Thank you for understanding that. Thank you for understanding that. So um, yeah, but um, you know, looking at all the you've raced in Formula One, you've raced in Formula Two, you have raced in Formula Three. What is your favorite division of racing in Formula Nitro? Probably uh, Formula 2. Also because because I've been pretty successful in it and also the fact that like I've raced in there the longest, so I'm pretty used to how the racing is. I think it's also a lot cleaner uh, than Formula 1. Formula 1, um, yeah. it, it's, it's kind of... The issue is it's like at the end of the day, so you don't have like a lot of officiating and stuff like that. So um, there's actually a lot of talks about how... Um, you know, I might actually be leaving Mercedes, and some other drivers could be taking the spot um, and stuff like that for that team because I've been thinking about it, and the officiating has been horrendous. And I've noticed that every single time I've been able to officiate, the races have actually been pretty decent. And I think if we officiated, or if I officiated uh, Formula One, it would actually be a good experience. So um, that would be really interesting. I'm, I'm planning on signing some people. Obviously, uh, in Formula One, it's really interesting because I just signed Rise in that. Uh, Mercedes spot, so he's going to be beside me. So it's pretty ironic because he's the same guy who um, had that photo finish with me, made a little contact with me at Monza, and I think we know the rest. So crazy finish. Um, Jesus to him. But yeah, that'll be really I just realized he had a squid. I just realized he had a, he had, I just realized Rez has a squid game PSP. I'm now dead on the inside. Oh my gosh, bro. Oh. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yeah, good for him. I'm happy that he got a second shot. Yeah, honestly. After the so, whole. Um, Honestly, what are your thoughts on the whole the D boss situation? I mean, how do you feel about the fact that you know he hasn't been able to race and stuff like that, or how he's not been racing at all? I mean, do you hope he comes back just for at least some competition, or do you just want him to not race? It's kind of like two sides. Because on one side, it's a lot easier championship battle when I only have to focus on one. But on the other side, it would be nice to have a person other than my Mercedes teammate to fight with. But yeah, I'd say I'd say yeah. Maybe and maybe not. So, um, what are your plans for you know next season? Are you going to stay in Formula Two with Mercedes, or are you going to um, go to Formula One, or you know maybe even go back to Formula Three? What are you What are you going to do? I don't think I would. I don't know. Maybe maybe I might go back to Formula Three. I feel like I'm pretty good in Formula Two right now. Uh, after a few unfortunate races in Formula One, I decided to cancel the Haas contract, and I can't. And it's it's also the fact that I can't come back on it since. Cyrix is in Haas now, so there's no go. So there's no going back. Anyway, I think I'm pretty happy where I am right now. I don't know. Maybe I think I don't know. Maybe I might go to F1 or something. But I feel like in the twilight of my career, I would probably go to Formula Three by then, or if I'm out of a seat. Yeah, I think honestly that's reasonable. And uh, Splat, we really do appreciate you, uh, you know, coming in here for this uh, Formula Nitro show and you know talking to us today, man. We really do appreciate it. Um, wishing the best of luck against Jacob um, for that, you know, that drivers championship. So that'll be really fun to watch. Keep in mind, we're going to be having all the races this weekend, so that'll be really fun to watch. So we cannot wait for that. Um, so yeah, Splat, thank you for uh, tuning in and you know joining us. No today. problem. We appreciate it. Um, yeah, no problem. Yeah, man. Thank you. Talk to you uh, later. All right, so um, Hurricane, we're going to talk about our, our next thing. I mean, the, the league that really should matter the most, or the division of racing that really is, um, quote-unquote, the highest level of racing, but yet it's always a dumpster fire, and that is Formula One. So um, Formula One, I mean, this has been a crazy, crazy first season for Formula One. I mean, we can all talk about this. It has been crazy for the last couple of races. And we've seen a, a great comeback from Haas. I mean, they only had, you know, Commander who never raced because he got hit by a reindeer, had COVID. I mean, there's multiple different uh, things that happened to him. Um, we hate to see that uh, for Commander. We wish the best of him, and, um, you know, it sucks. But anyways, um, I'm looking at the driver standings here, and, I mean, I'm looking at all these, and it's just unbelievable because you look at it here, and Swayze was leading for... I don't know, for three races, three races, and then Cyrax took the lead, and then I took the lead, and then I kept the lead, and I saw the lead. But right now, 
here is your standings um, after the Jamaican Grand Prix. Uh, the Longwood JC, a.k.a. me, has 118 points in first place. Second is Swayze's, but Swayze, if you guys do not know, Swayze's is suspended um, due to some stuff he did. And we're not going to exactly say because I don't really want to put him out in the light here. He just did some messed up stuff, and um, he is suspended for the rest of the season. Um, so, yeah, just like that, that, that's really interesting. So now that means that Hurricane is second in the driver's standings with 100 points. Behind him in third place is Cyrax with 96. In fourth place is Sokova, but Sokova in the Aston Martin car is, has left. So just like that, Sokova's out of it. He probably just couldn't take uh, Nass screaming and yelling and stuff like that, which I really don't blame him. And um, so just like that, uh, Sokova's out of it. And um, there's also some news that happened a couple days ago where we found out that Rio... It's not the owner of Aston Martin against her will. So, sucks to suck for Rio. She actually, I actually messaged her asking her if she wanted to join Mercedes. And she told me that she actually would, maybe she hasn't decided if she wants to. And um, she might stay in Aston Martin. So, that's going to be really interesting to say the least. Um, we'll see what happens. So, uh, <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm choking. Holy crap. Um, <coughs> so, now Pratty is in fourth with 67 points rise and, and um, Hold up, my god, I messed up this. I messed this up so badly. Hold up. Fifth is Rise with 46. Six is Rio with 34. Seventh is Trump with 31. Eighth is Nass with 28. And of course, um, ninth is Kyle Bush with 20. So those are your standings at the moment in F1. That is gonna be really interesting to say the least when it gets to the end of the season because we're gonna be seeing a lot of fun battles between um, the teammates of Hurricane and Cyrax. So, um, Hurricane, how do you feel? You know, after signing uh, the man himself, Cyrax. You know, after he. You know, I think decided to yeah. leave me. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, Haas just didn't have a solid second driver all season. You know, it was just sometimes you know splat on a part time basis. He was, you know, he did pretty well, but then got wrecked and. You know, he, he. You know, we just haven't had that second driver that would stay and be very consistent with our finishes. And now we have that with Cyrix. You know, I think it's going to be a good thing for the team. I think it will definitely help us a lot, a lot in the constructors. And um, you know, we have now a second driver who can go for it. So I'm really excited for that and um, happy he's joining. Well, yeah, it's going to definitely be really interesting to say the least because we're going to look at this year and um, I, I mean. This is what's really interesting because, you know, you look at this and the whole thing between uh, Rise and Ferrari, I mean, that ended. It's over because now Rise is signed to Mercedes. What could this mean for Mercedes? Do you think they're going to continue their dominant streak? I mean, you look at this, JC and Rise have a really good history of racing and being teammates. I mean, you look at it, they have a record of five wins together as teammates. So what could this mean for, you know, this division of Formula One? You know, I think it's just, you know, Mercedes made a fantastic choice because, you know, Rise is a winner. He's going to go give it his all. He's going to take every opportunity he gets and take advantage of it. And, you know, he obviously won at Monza and right in front of the two Mercedes. Actually, well, not right in front of both of them. Splat, I think, finished fourth with the Haas finishing third. But you finished second to him in the Mercedes. So I think, you know, it's, you know, he's a winner. He's going to go out there and give it his best. And um, I think they made a fantastic choice. Well, yeah, speaking of that, we're actually going to bring in uh, Rise here. So, uh, Rise, are you are you welcome to join us here for this thing? We're going to we're going to interview you here on your uh your your seat here in Formula 1. Hold on, how do I do this? You got to accept it. Uh, Rise. Top top of the screen. Yeah, top of the screen it like has a a, a thing. I am be okay actually. I never thought of that, but uh yeah, it could be. If that's not the case, if that's the case, then uh, we'll, we'll just wait. But uh, we actually could bring in uh. Oh, he's in Rise is, uh, in general right now. Oh, he is. What do you say? Oh, he says, "Oh crap! How do I join?" Uh, you click some. I think it's the the way or the, you know, the finger or you know the hand. Sorry. Should hand. yeah, it should be on the top of the. the uh, yeah, it should be on the top of this. Yeah, I invited you to speak, so yeah, just accept it. Whoa, we wait for him. Uh, we can talk about the Red Bull struggles. How about oh, that? Yeah, I mean, Red Bull has just been an absolute nightmare for them. I mean, you look at this. They have had a constant 
two weeks of oh here oh, Rise. 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 hello rise welcome to the welcome to the formula nitro show um talk about red bull after we're, this. Yeah, we're gonna continue talking about red bull and then we'll, we'll get to you sorry about that but um yeah. let's continue so the thing with red bull i mean you look at a trumpet has not been able to race obviously he's been busy doing stuff probably you know playing the trumpet going to band doing stuff like that we don't know um but kyle bush also has tried to fill in that seat for trumpet and it just has not worked I mean, it's really unfortunate because you look at it, and they have been trying to find a solution to their problem, and they just cannot find a solution at all. And it is really sad to say the least because you think, you know, Red Bull would be one of the most dominant teams out there, but instead, Aston Martin is better than them, and so is McLaren, who haven't even raced in the last three weeks. That's how sad it is. Yeah, you know, I think. We, you look back uh, in Monza, uh, Trumpet blew an engine. He had to pit. He couldn't finish the race. He DNF for blowing an engine. Um, you know, at Australia when he made his return. Oh, also, uh, Kyle Busch 05 DNF'd after getting turned by, not Rise in the Ferrari, but Swayze in the Ferrari. Yeah. He got turned and ripped the whole front wing off, then backed it into the wall, destroying the spoiler and back wheel. He DNF'd. And then, you know, you come to Australia, he had some issues in practice, and I think even in qualifying, he got a horrible qualifying spot. I think it was yeah. last or second to last. And then, you know, during the Australia races, Trump had made a very aggressive move. I was battling, I think, side by side with, I think it was you, JC, to be yeah, honest. So, it was. Yeah, battling it was. with you. He, he sent it into the corner. He didn't even tell me he was there. He he didn't say anything about being there. I was focused on battling with you, giving you as much room as possible. He didn't tell me he was there. Then he, you know, made contact with my back bumper, got a bumper glitch, ripped the whole front spoiler off, and destroyed the wheel and destroyed some of the engine components. So, you know, it's just, you know, they've been spending money in the wrong areas, repairing the car after a race. So, you know, it's just been a huge struggle for them and durability and, you know, race pace and qualifying pace. And, I mean, if we're really going to talk about a driver that has bad luck, let's just talk about Nass. Oh, my God, dude. I mean, we literally can just play the radioactive of him screaming. It is hilarious. I mean, the guy was so upset. He's about to get, for once, actually a non-last-place finish. And then he just got absolutely screwed over and made contact with Sokofa and Rio. Same with me and just went right into the wall. And I think the rest is history. He got really pissed, really upset. He sounded like a angry ostrich when its eggs got taken by an eagle. So, uh, unfortunate for Nass. Um, we hope you know, he's okay and stuff. It sucks for Sokova because he's, he's done racing in uh, this league, so it sucks to say the least. Hopefully, he'll be back soon, but um, probably just needs a break from racing. I really can't. I don't, I don't mind him, so that'll be really interesting to say the least. But um, we're going to continue. We're going to talk um, to Rise. So, Rise, how are you doing uh, today, my friend? You know, I'm doing good. I have taken a break from, you know, Fortnite racing for a while, but I decided to return because I had problems with my controller stick drift. You know how that is. So yeah. I had to get a new controller and I had to come back. It's like, it's nothing like racing. It's so fun doing it, like, especially with your friends, people you know, there's always competition. You always want to join. And it's just something like everyone loves to do. So, you know, I just wanted to do it. I just wanted to return, you know. Well, we're so glad to have you back on board here, uh, Rise. So, um, Rise, how do you feel uh, to sign with Mercedes after you know having that little incident with me, obviously at Monza? I think that was actually the last race you raced in, and that was a win. So, um, how does it feel to you know come into this race being a winner, to say the least? You know, I mean, I might be a winner, but at the end of the day, JC's you you're a winner, man. Like you race so clean, you try your hardest. Like, if I'm being honest, you've been doing, like, good, like, since the league started. Like, I haven't seen anything bad, like, going on with you, except for FRO when he dumped you. <laughs> what track it was. Yeah, I remember was, that. He was living in Mexico at, in, in, in NASA's league, so that was pretty funny. Yeah. But, yeah, it's whatever. But, yeah, you know, coming back, it's like, um... Man, how should I say it? It's just like with Swayze's and what I just found out today. I mean, I just came back today, so I had my Discord notification. Yeah. Up. And like, I come to chat and I see like what happened. I'm like, wow. Like, I have like, I have like so, res like, so much respect for these drivers. But sometimes you don't know what they're capable of or like what they do when they're mad. So it's just like new and you have to like be aware of your surroundings and who you're racing with. Because you wouldn't expect this from, like, anyone in the league. Like, you expect them to be mature, 
and like actually know what to do like in these type of situations and not to get mad you know so yeah well, yeah, I mean, honestly, it is pretty interesting you say that because, you know, there's been a lot of incidents, to say the least, between a ton of drivers uh, in the last couple of weeks. So, I mean, you know, you got Johnny who, um, if you haven't seen Rise, I mean, I think you might have seen it, um, where he's racing, he's in the lead, makes contact with Vexo, flies over the fence, and DNFs while Vexo finishes third. So, that is the example of cars for you uh, in Fortnite. But, mm. uh, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of stuff that happened. And then Johnny got suspended for a bit because he got, um, because he was saying, sending death threats and stuff. I literally was laughing the whole time. I didn't even care. It was so funny. And everyone was like mad about it and stuff. I'm like, okay, whatever. And so then I did a poll and everyone's like, he needs to get banned for that. I'm like, okay. So then we suspend him or whatever. And then, and then Vexo recently said the N word. So that was crazy. And then Swayze's was saying stuff as well. So, I mean, not, not like that, that, like he was saying, um, yeah. he was, um, like getting pissed with Cyrax and stuff like that. So, yeah, just like mm -hmm. that, that's what happens. So, uh, um, what really, you know, led you to making the decision to join Mercedes and join JC and just ditch Swayze's altogether? Honestly, it's because I've been racing with JC for a while and, like, I know how he races and every time we're on the same team, I should, before I even joined the league, I should have just asked him to, like, you know, join. And, like, before that, it was like, uh, I don't know, I just want to join a team, I just want to start racing already. But now that I'm figuring out what happened with Swayze, and he's suspended, and everything like that, I'm, I'm not going to have a teammate. But if I have a teammate, and it's with someone I know, and we race all the time together, and we are good drivers, and we both know how we race, then it's, a, like, an automatic W. Like, we can get to the front easily. That's how it can be. And with me and Swayze, it's like... I always have to, like, tell, like, show Swayze how to, like, pass people. And, like, usually when the race starts, I try to get to the front as fast as I can. But Swayze, he's always complaining about something. Always, like, you know, blaming things on people. And it's just, I couldn't, I couldn't do that anymore. It, it got me annoyed. Because, like, he would spam invite me and then, like, talk to me about it. But the thing was, like... With Swayze, it's just that, like, he can be toxic sometimes. And with JC, he's not always toxic. He tries his hardest to be chill, even in the worst situations. Like, with FRL, he's always trying to be, like, you know, just smooth about it. And even um, when I tried to talk to JC about it, he was fine with it. And, like, we just moved on and we just kept racing. And we don't, we don't, we don't even hear from FRL anymore. So, like, that's a good thing to hear, you know. Yeah, if FRL is listening to this, by the way, I mean, he, there's a possibility. I mean, there is. I mean, like, because I'm going to be posting yeah. this on YouTube. If you're all listening to this, FRL, we hope you are doing the best, brother. Um, even with all the stuff that has happened, you know, me as a human, and I have respect for a lot of people and stuff like that. Um, I, of course, I have at least some, somewhat of respect to you because um, you obviously, you know, had a Fortnite racing league and stuff. Yes, some of the stuff you did is scummy and stuff. I get that. But still, that does not, you know... Me personally, I'm not the type of guy who's gonna go off on someone for something like that and stuff like that. Like I'm gonna have give them criticism and stuff, and if they you know feel, you know want to say whatever they want to say, that's fine. But I hope he's doing okay. Apparently, like he's somewhere, just living his life. Yeah. Without the internet, so. Um, and then there's some reports that he apparently had like a heart failure or something. So prayers to him. If that's the case. We have his okay, yeah. and we have his in the best. So uh, yeah. Mm hmm. So, um, you know, honestly, though, you know, with the F1 scene and everything, I mean, do you think you can help Mercedes get back to, you know, their their winning ways? Because they haven't been able to win in the last four races because Hurricane for Haas has absolutely dominated there. And they just had, you know, their addition of the former teammate of Mercedes, Cyrex. So it is going to be really interesting, to say the least, when – you know, it gets down to the wire here in Formula One. Yeah, you know, uh, man, we got some competition, but like every time I race, I try to get to the front, I'll be near the front a lot. So I think uh, like uh, I can help a lot and it'll be like a big championship and it will be interesting. Like there will be like people just watching and see how this goes. But like, I think I can definitely help. Just being there, and we can like 
work together and get to the front. You know what I'm saying? But, like, yeah, it's going to be interesting. I don't know what's coming, but, like, you know, I have to get back into racing and, like, practice a little bit. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. So, uh, Hurricane, you got any questions for uh, Rise here? I'm just uh, happy to see him back, and uh, it's going to be nice to get another. I think, you know, everyone in this call right now are probably going to be the top three favorites. So, uh I'm just glad to see him back. Glad to have amazing competition. You know, Monza had such a fun time racing with him. You know, he's a very clean driver. That was fun. You know, he actually listens if you say, you know, left or right or inside or outside. So, you know, it's just nice to know a clean driver is going to come back. And it's going to be instead of, you know, maybe someone who runs, you know, eh, okay. You know, who was at the front because Rise wasn't racing. You know, it's going to be good to know that one of the front runners is going to be a clean driver. Yeah, I think honestly it's gonna be really interesting because we're gonna see a lot of battling here in Formula One, Formula Two, and Formula Three. So that's gonna be really fun. Um, but honestly, let's go over our, our top stories. You know, we, we really should just recap this thing. You know, talk about our top stories. Um, I actually read an article this morning because I, I was extremely bored in class and I decided to write an article about the season. So, um, uh, you know, it was a great race in Jamaica, obviously. Um, so here is your Formula One news. Obviously, Sakofa left Aston Martin. And now we'll make Rio the owner of Aston Martin. She was actually reporting that she might join Mercedes. She hasn't decided yet. She might have stayed in Aston Martin. So it's going to be really interesting to say the least. Uh, of course, Hurricane has won three races in a row at the moment. He's on pace to catch JC in the Drivers' Championship. He's only 18 points behind. So if he gets a win, then he's he's caught up completely. I mean, even a top two or a top three, you're caught up with him. So that is going to be really interesting. But, uh. It is going to go down to the wire, so we cannot wait for that. But anyways, um, the next one, Swayze's for Ferrari has been suspended for the rest of the season uh, due to stuff like, you know, all the, the threats and stuff like that. So it, it sucks to say the least because you look at that. Thank you for the toast to ravioli. Sorry for interrupting everyone, but my mom just gave me toast to ravioli. Thank you. Ooh. I appreciate it. Um, That's good. Uh, but so, obviously, Swayze's has been, you know, removed from racing in Formula 1 and stuff like that and just in general the league for the rest of the season. So then that led to Rise joining Mercedes, Cyrex joining Haas and stuff like that, leaving Mercedes. So JC had no teammates, so he signed Rise, who in total has five wins with in every single league they have paired up together. So that is going to be really interesting. And there's also been some talks that JC has been having some talks on his future in Formula 1 and might retire if he wins the championship this season due to the lack of officiating in Formula 1. Here's our Formula 2 news. Uh, Jacob, of course, leading the Drivers' Championship over Splat Cat by just seven points. The two Mercedes drivers have dominated this season and are looking to win their first ever Constructors' Championship in Formula 2. Here's our Formula 3 news. Uh, Rio is only two wins away from clinching the title in Formula 3. She currently leads by 38 points over Static Volcano in the Ford Performance car. Hurricane, the under Ford Performance, said that he is looking to train Ryan and make him the best possible driver he can be on the grid. And, of course, Beast Mode winning at Jamaica. But the question is, can he continue his winning streak in Formula 3 as he did in Rio's free waste winning streak? last Saturday in a stunning finish which saw Beast Mode Rio and the Ford Performance driver Static Volcano on the podium. And speaking of Static Volcano, he actually has three straight podiums. Yes, three straight podiums. He got it Australia. No, not Australia. He, he got it. I think, actually, no, he doesn't have three straight. He has, he has two straight, but he has three podiums at the moment. He has one at the USA or the United States Grand Prix presented by Poker Stars. He has the one in the second, I think the second Australian Grand Prix, and then he had the one in Jamaica uh, due to the penalty with Ozo. So yeah, that is your uh, news recap for Formula Nitro. Um, we appreciate everyone tuning in for this uh, broadcast. Is there anything else y'all would like to say, uh, you know, you know, before we end this thing? Yeah, I have uh, one quick note here. Is, uh, we have to look at something. There's Looking at the schedule, there's not many races left, so there's not much time left be for oh, someone well, to um, I'm make sorry. a run. I'm still adding tracks. Okay. Oh, okay, I'm sorry to kind of mess that whole thing no, up. You're but, uh... fine, brother. Don't worry about it. You're fine. It's fine. You didn't know that. Like, how are you supposed to know? You're fine, okay? Um, so there's possibilities that we might run it uh, in South Korea this weekend. We might run it um, possibly the Roval. We might run at somewhere, like somewhere that might be Silverstone. It's going to be 
it really is going to come up to if we finish the tracks or not. So we might finish Silverstone with the base layout and stuff of it, and then we might race on it. There's also possible testing of um, Quad Crashers coming up, maybe next season possibly. Maybe a, a, a series formula, you know, quad or something like that, where they could race in Quad Crashers or something like that. So that'd be really interesting. We might look into that. Um, and then also, of course... You know, we've had some great racing in all the tracks and stuff, and we are really looking forward to seeing what is going to happen in all the different divisions of racing in Formula 1, Formula 2, and Formula 3. So that is going to get really exciting. So um, just like that, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of our Formula Nitro show, our first ever one. We appreciate everyone tuning in. If you guys enjoyed, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and, um, of course, please, you know, click the bell for post notifications. I'd really appreciate it. Um, also, I'm going to be making a Formula Nitro uh, account on Twitter, so if you want to follow that, go follow it. Also, go follow our TikTok account. It's actually hosted by me and Jacob. We you know, work on that account a lot, so go check it out. Go follow us. Go like all the posts. Do whatever you need to do. Um, but anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, we appreciate all the special guests of um, Static Volcano, Splat, Rise. Thank you all for tuning in. Um, we appreciate everyone you know, coming Thanks. here. Of course, thank you, Hurricane, for uh, you know, helping me here in this broadcast. We really do appreciate it, brother. You're a you. legend. Um, but signing off here, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. And as always, have a great rest of your day, evening, afternoon, morning, or time you spend the world. And yeah, ladies and gentlemen, peace.